Hi everyone, Scorp here uh, with another deck profile. Um, this one, it'll have slightly different cards than usual. Um, I didn't fit in all of the green kappas and eye armors that I usually would, um, but this is a turtle deck. Um, so this deck just pulls out a whole bunch of powerful turtles um, quickly um, and has roaring ocean snakes because I didn't want to put in umis. Um, and basically it summons out um, crab turtles and turtle birds for like three to five summoning costs. Um, go over the cards real quick. Um, crab turtles deck leader, um, not really a special um, thing here, just wanted a water. It was strong. Um, Temple of Skulls, as always. Stops a bunch of stuff you don't want to deal with. Um, only one eye armor. Um, that's all I really wanted to try to fit in. So, that's all I did. Um, three Joel Birds, three Karamas. Um, these are for fusing with the next Turtles to make Turtle Birds. Three Monster Turtles, three Turtle Tigers, all of them for fusing with these. Um, three Roaring Ocean Snakes. Um, these are for changing terrain. They're really good at that. And they work with two-thirds of the equips in the deck, so pretty good. Um, Chain Slime is in here as a... I'm not putting Green Kappa into every deck, um, even though this should probably just be a Green Kappa because Green Kappa is better than this card. But hey, it's water, so might as well use it. Um, if you're going for like a deck that just one for one's your opponent, three change slimes is pretty good to put in there. Um, 30,000 year white turtles. Um, these fuse with uh, these. Um, and when you fuse these together, they make crab turtle. Also, for some reason, this isn't a shelled enemy. Please tell me how this crab is not a shelled enemy. Um, unfortunately, this is five summoning cost. A bit expensive. Um, three violent rains. Uh, these are for changing field. So a bunch of stuff to change field that aren't Umi. Um, this because I'm not running any traps besides Goblin Fan, and I don't like dealing with traps. And this is cheaper than Royal Decree. Also, this deck is quite cheap. Um, nine equips. Um, the three steel shells can easily be changed to, like, rear Yokus if you want to make the deck more expensive. Um, and one Goblin Fan, because rear Yoku's rude. And you might as well just put a card in your deck to counter it. If you're playing against other people and rear Yoku is banned, definitely don't play it. <laughs> But I think it's one of, it's the only tech card of all of those tech cards that's so good that you just run it. It also counters burn strategies pretty hard, so. Oh, that is a hand. Um, this deck is a little bit heavier than um, some of the other decks that I've showed off so far. Um, you're going to have a lot of turns where you're just kind of waiting for summoning power. Um, so gate deeds might not be ill-advised. Roaring Ocean Snake's really strong, um, especially against a machine player. Um, I figured I'd show this off first, is uh, just how bad this Rex Bandit Keith. Uh, he doesn't play Burn or Ryoku, so we can get rid of that. Just put Violet Rain right there. Maybe he'll go and attack it. If I had more than three summoning points right now, he'd be in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's already in a lot of trouble, but... Only three summoning power is unfortunately little. Um, 
Although I don't think it matters. Unless I do this. Uh, but he still loses because he can't. Uh, all of his summoning spaces are used. He's surrounded by Labyrinth. Well, that wasn't, uh, that was just a demonstration of how strong Rory Notion Snake is. Um, but not really a demonstration of this deck. So let's go find somebody else that, you know, might not just perish. Um... Hmm. Who's a good choice? Show up the fellow water user who's boss. Um, so there's definitely room to remove some cards if you want to to put in those green crappers and eye armors. Get right at this thing. Although Chain Slime will be pretty good for um, just... It'll go one for one with whatever he plays here. Um, it doesn't go one for one well with traps, so be very cautious of that. Don't care, whatever that is, it's dead. <sighs> well, I might have drawn one too many equips, but that's okay. If only my deck leader were closer, this would be a OTK right here. Sometimes you don't draw a wall, but it doesn't matter, because you just draw four equips, in which case you can just crush anything with four equips. Um, but card that he's moving over is a trap, I'm sure. Oh hey, look, a trap! Um, as always, like just charging enemies and beating them with a 4,000 attack beat stick is pretty much the best way to win the game. Well, maybe we can um, find a person that will actually let us show off some fusions? Also, why can't I just do that whenever um, I'm going for three in rows, like in actual runs and stuff? Maybe if I can't charge my opponent, I'll go slower. Um, well, this is quite the hand. Again, summoning cost is a little bit of a problem with this deck, to be honest. But hey, I'll pay 5 cost for a crab turtle instead of 8 cost any day. Wow. Let's send this over to the forest. 
Um, the Temple of Skulls is completely useless against this guy because he doesn't really play any, you know, magic. But, um, that Ancient Tree is quite useful. He does play several traps. Get one of these Kuramas out of the field. So it can basically make a 2400 Therma Fusion pretty easily. Um, not the best thing in the world to do, but it'll usually get the job done. Um, and then most of my terrain change is on a beat stick. Um, Violent Rain's not bad. Uh, Roaring Ocean Snake's really good. And as I've said, you could totally just run Umis over them if you feel you have too many monsters. This deck just has a bunch of good options. I'm going to dump a couple cards here, just to get to more interesting cards in my deck. While I know Change Slime would go one for one with one of his cards, I just don't need it to right now. Um, this is the most likely to end up getting fused, so... Talk about what you just did. Ooh, that's a paralyzing potion. It's no longer a turtle bird. I'm going to do a fusion with that card next turn. Wrong choice. Really, really wrong choice, buddy. He's not going to attack into my creatures anymore. Um, he'll attack into him when he knows you'll win. Although, he didn't know that he'd win when he thought that he'd win.
Um, he does have a single piece of burn in his deck in Needle Ball. So if I were to find the Needle Ball um, and not have my Ancient Tree in defense mode, I could kill him with that, but that's pretty much never going to happen. Wow! I'm impressed. I didn't expect his AI to do something like that. Although it lost him the game. I draw anything that could just get over that? No. Yeah, unfortunately that's not a shield creature. But I mean, even still it couldn't get over the summon skull. But hey, Crab Turtle can, so it's one of the main points of this deck is to make Crab Turtle. Yeah, that's three random enemies to duel. Um, deck's not terrible. Deck could... I don't know. There may be some things that I'd want to do to it, but it's a, it looks like a pretty solid deck in terms of um, just being able to get through an entire playthrough. It'd be fun to play against friends with, but it's definitely not. Like, this isn't like meta-defining for sure definitely some cards that could go. Um, also, water is just not the strongest attribute. So, thanks everybody for watching, and have a nice day!